Well, welcome to the lecture on practicing. And I'll tell you, I am impressed um, that you signed up for this because to 99.99% of all writers who came through English departments and, and other ways like that, the word practice is a dirty word. I mean, it, it just it's just an alien word. It doesn't bring up any images for writers. They don't understand it. Um, and so the fact that you're even here on this lecture, I applaud you. Congratulations. Because I'll tell you, this just just willing to listen to a lecture about practicing writing is is something that is is uh, amazing and puts you a long ways down the road towards success, way ahead of everybody else who just thinks this is a complete dirty word for writers. Um, for some reason, um, when I started off in writing, I was already had finished two stints at two different professional sports. Um, I was I had been in the very early days. This tells you how old I am of what's now called freestyle skiing. Um, I was, uh, back then we called it hot dogging. And in fact, uh, one of my last couple years in it, they actually started the first couple events, tour events. They were run very differently than they are now. Um, in fact, the first five of them were start at the top of the hill that was covered with moguls and get to the bottom in the most spectacular way and the person who did the most spectacular run won. Didn't matter how many times you crashed or how many aerials you did or anything else, it was just, how spectacular can you get to the bottom? And of course that had to be contained, which is where it finally went and turned into freestyle skiing with the different elements of, you know, aerials and, and moguls. And, and now if you fall, you know, you, you hurt. Back in my day, that was part of the spectacularness of crashing, burning, tumbling, and coming back up still skiing. So I was, had finished that part and I had then become of all things, a professional golfer and professional golfers, practice enormous amounts of hours. I mean, I, you know, it, it was nothing for me to hit a thousand different golf balls every day, day after day after day, seven days a week, week after week after week, month after month. I was constantly hitting golf balls. Now, that's attitude about needing to practice to get better came with me when I finally moved into writing. Um, and it was just like, it was just an automatic for me. Okay, I'm going to be doing this musicians practice. Um, artists practice, uh, you know, any anybody in the arts practice. So I just automatically thought I was going to need to practice, and I figured out ways to practice. Um, and so that has always been with me. Yeah, I think it's probably one of the reasons that I've been around for a long time and, and sold so many stories and novels over the decades, um, is that I have this ability to practice. And I it's just an automatic part of my brain. So let me talk about this for a second longer here on this introduction. Um, there's a number of ways. Uh, one thing I want to start off with right away is practice, repetition practice, uh, makes something the same. Now, if you're doing it wrong while you're practicing, then you're just, you know, ingraining the, uh oh, I'm doing it wrong. Um, and that's, so practice makes same is what it does. Practice combined with constant learning is what gets you better. And learning is the key element here that must be combined with practice. You must always be learning and then practicing what you're learning. And then learning and practicing what you're learning. And those two things will move you up. Um, another aspect here that I want to mention right out of the bat, and, and, you know, and you should mark both of these down, is the practice is the first one. The second one is story is story is story. Um, it does, doesn't matter, you know, where the where you get the story. You know, go to a good movie that really entertains you. Well, look at the story. Maybe get get it when it comes out, and and you know, and or stream it or whatever, and then stop it and study the story. Maybe outline it. Maybe figure it out. If something really really strikes you when you read it for entertainment which is what you always should do. You should always read for entertainment first. And then if it really entertains you and held you and everything else, then go back and study it. And then by studying it, there are ways we can do to practice. And I will get into that here in some of these other videos below. But you learn from everything. Story is everywhere. Story is everywhere. And so you as a writer must soak in story. So sometimes, you know, if, if one of us is not feeling well, Chris isn't feeling well, I'm not feeling well or something, I'll say, I'm going to go watch TV. And Chris will say, oh, I'm going to go watch TV. I'm, I got to do this. And I said, well, that's part of your job. Or she'll say, well, I'm going to work. That's part of your job. 
Part of your job as a full-time professional fiction writer is to absorb and study story. So literally watching a really great television show on television that's got enormously good plotting, well, you can be studying that for how you would link serials together and aspects and how you would do an over arc in a, in a, in a theme and work back on plotting. There's, everything is, is study, everything is, is study. Study, study, study. Story is everywhere. Um, and so that's the key element here with the learning side of this is you study, you figure out what you want to work on, and then you come back at it. Now, um, we are also, um, in these workshops we're doing, we're doing a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing now that was just starting in October for just five people a month is all we're going to do it for, where we can tell you where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are and how to practice some of them. Now, I'm going to do some of that in this workshop, not individually, of course, but I'm going to say this is where you can practice certain things on some of these videos below. So that's what we're doing. Um, I want to be very clear here again that I'm, I'm very impressed that you are here and even interested in the word practice in combination with writing because, holy smokes, I, I cannot begin to tell you. I don't even talk about it. I mean, this is worse than, worse than the rewriting myth that you have to practice. We are the only art form, the only art form, where we tell the people who are trying to learn it to slow down and not practice, and therefore they can learn it. Of course, it doesn't work that way, but, but that's what we do in this business. That's what all of this business is set up for, is to tell people to slow down and not practice, not work on getting better. And oh my. It's just silliness, and it's a nasty myth. So, welcome to the first step of climbing over that myth.